Right, I got a new toy today for the workshop. Uh, you can see it there. Miller Synchrowave 300 uh, with a water cooler and uh, new torch, new 8 meter water cooled torch. It's, uh, it's a WP, whatever the equivalent of 17 is, water cooled. It's an 18, I think. Um, I might one day, I like the 9 equivalent, but this fits all my stubby gas lenses so uh, that I use with my 17, so I'm pleased with that. And uh, Parweld water cooler and a very, very large 300 amp welding machine. Uh, now here's a quick plug for Westerman's International. Uh, that's where I got it from. And uh, cosmetically not perfect, but it's been very nicely refurbished inside. All the, all the wiring looks new. There's no dust, no dirt. And seems to be working really well. I've just been trying some, some uh, bits and pieces with it. Uh, shame my settings quickly. I'm in low range, about 55 amps. DC straight polarity. Uh, high frequency for starting only. And uh, panel for the current control. Using uh, about one pulse per second. 33% background current and about 45% on time with this this is the on time for the background current not the peak so uh, some some machines are different some machines work ass about face um, well let's uh, see it in action I'm sure you all want to see it right um What's happening here? Oh, it's, it's not held very well in this fixture. I'm just going to whack a tack on it. There's a bit of a gap because it's all distorted and bitter and twisted. But it's just some thin stainless sheet I'm going to experiment with. I'm just going to have to poke a load of wire into these tacks and, and let them contract and pull the, pull the sheet together a bit. The little copper fixture I've got is just to keep it cool near the weld. It's always, always good practice on stainless just to um, 300 series stainless anyway, you don't want it to stay hot for long, you don't want it to get too hot in the first place. So we normally kind of fabricate some kind of chill bar. I've got a pulser on just for fun. It gives me a bit of leeway on the amperage. And just dip during the hot phase, during the bright phase. And uh, that should be okay. I have to say it's got a really smooth stable arc even at low amperage I mean I've got 55 on the dial the background current is 30% is of that 25, 20 amps and it's no problem at all it's, it's really really welding nicely in fact I'd hardly know it was an inverter machine Okay, there's a result. Uh, one on the right is the weld, reasonably clean, not very neat but and shiny. And on the left there's the backside of some I was doing earlier. So decent penetration. Um, it's like 1.6 millimeter stain. That's just a bit of scrap I was playing with. And just to check it out on AC, I ran a couple of beads of aluminium bronze there. Um, you get a good cleaning action because the aluminium in it can make it a bit funny on DC. On AC you get much less penetration, much more cleaning, so you can, you can braze quite successfully with, or bronze weld or whatever you call it, with aluminium bronze on, on lots of dissimilar metals, it's a useful thing. Now I did just, I didn't get a chance to play with the AC balance, but I did just run a few beads on a bit of scrap aluminium, um, if I can find it. It's around somewhere, yeah there it is. Um, need to experiment more with that, I think it needs a bit more cleaning action on this old dirty stuff. The, the puddle looked a bit bit dirty and sluggish but yeah uh, really impressed so far very impressed with the machine such a big machine to weld at such low currents um, yeah excellent 